Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tati's Treasure. Hello. <clears throat> I can't let me up. Um, <clears throat> so this is the beginning of a new tutorial and it's going to be uh, a bird journal. <clears throat> I'm going to make two. Um, so I thought I'd flick the camera on. This is like at the beginning of, <clears throat> you know, me making the actual decisions of <laughs> what's the tutorial. Um, you know gonna gonna look like kind of thing and I've been wanting to do an envelope journal for for a while I've done envelope folios but never you know an envelope uh, journal not like I'm guessing there's much you know difference uh, to it but um, yeah it still feels something different for me so what I've got is, let's just take these away, I've got two totally different envelopes. Um, I think one's just slightly bigger than the other. This is an A4, I don't know what this this is, um, just a little bit bigger. <laughs> this is the tea stained one um, and this is one with the cardboard in. Um, so. I don't know if I'm going to put, I don't think I'm going to put card in here, uh, but I might put some paper just to make it a little bit more sturdy. Um, this one's probably, I don't know, I do quite like the feel of it. So I might put some cereal box inside it. Um, so that's going to be my actual journal cover and I've got some pages together. They're the same in, in there, just, you know different same but different you know what I mean they're in the same order they're obviously not exactly the same because I don't have two of everything so I've started off with this lovely uh, coffee stained music paper which it goes landscape which is fabulous because normally they, they portray it um, so I've got that and the lovely Heather sent me those and I've got this bird uh, page which is from a book called The Avery and that is in my um, Amazon favourites. Now when I took the book apart um, I, I couldn't, I think I managed to get a couple of double pages but most of them I couldn't. So this is going to have to have um, some kind of extension that you know goes around around the other side which I will probably then make into into a tuck so that's going to go there I thought that was really nice now my tea stain paper has come out really light so I'm thinking I'm going to ink around them uh, do some stenciling and things I've got this little bit of I suppose it is it's ledger um that was from the lovely Heather. I haven't cut any of the pages down or anything. Now, the kit that I'm using is a bird kit from Nanine. It's um, her newest bird kit, but there will be things in from uh, her other bird kit. And some, you know, there's going to be some blue stuff in and... Well, that neither of them from the news kit. So that wasn't a good example. But the majority of the things that I've made are using um, some blue kits from Nanine. And I think she's got three blue kits, what what I use. Um, I think one's China Blue, China White, and another one. Um, I will get a list together and it will be in the description. So I've got this file folder here. Obviously it needs trimming nicely because it's not nice. Um, another tea stained paper. This again is a book that <coughs> I it wasn't a, a page. So I'm, I'm going to be joining those together. So that's going to be there. Another kit page. Love this kit did ask her to make me this one special <laughs> another tea stain I've, for a change instead of doing the lines that way I thought I'll go skinny um, so that's that way and that's the back of uh, the kit page I've used the backing paper as well from, from the kit page another tea stained beautiful doily which i do think that heather uh sent me it is a touch too long i'm, I'm guessing it will just get 
end up getting bashed down i ought to just cut it cut it off but i thought that looked so pretty and i thought instead of you know doing it that way i'd do it that way i think it looks quite quite interesting then i've done this on card because i'm going to do some kind of um middle page spread i've no idea yet i just thought oh i'll put card in and then it's nice and stable for me to do whatever on so they're my pages i think counting everything one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm gonna count that fourteen, fifteen. So there's fifteen things which will be sewn sewn in. So I think that's about the right right amount. Um so that will go in there. I've no idea what I'm covering the inside. Um I feel like I'm going to seal these so I'm not going to have those as pockets which is something I would normally do in a file folder uh, but but I'm not going to do that. Um, and then for the cover part I've got this wonderful envelope and I'm thinking that Heather sent me this one. Uh, how fabulous is this? Um, the back's quite damaged so I'm going to have to you know repair that and then i've got a card i sometimes when there's half sheets of digital papers if they if it's a nice half one i will back it and then sew around it and they do come in really handy for jumbo um cards and i just think then it gets it out of that pile of you know part digital because it then becomes a, 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 a card so yeah, I do that quite often. I have got some that I do need to, to do that uh, to at the moment. So I was thinking I would attach that round the back. This is gonna open so so you can take it take it out. Um and then I kind of liked the thought of having this on the front with a hole there so it twists round. I may even do one of the policy things so it goes round and then you do that kind of thing. So I'm thinking this will actually get covered because otherwise how would you stick it down? So I could possibly, I think I'll keep the open side because I may open that up so I could actually have this not the whole length because but I could prob probably do it to there and then we'd obviously need a little bit of a, a spine to accommodate um the growth um so yeah that would actually be lovely so yes I think like that or yeah like that so that's going to be uh that and i'm just gonna that's gonna get cut down anyway so it doesn't matter that i've squashed it so i'm going to keep those like that and then this one I'd not got another big envelope, but I'd got this other one with a big window. Now, the lovely Jodie sent me loads of envelopes, and I've got a box um, in my cupboard, and I'm not sure if there's any of these four ones in there or not, but uh, I've not tea stained them, so I do need to go through that box. So this was going to go on there. I haven't yet got a image for that, so I need to source one. And then again, if we did it, you know, around there, like so. Yeah, I like that idea. So, yeah, that's as far as I've really got with my uh, thought process. I've got my box down of um, things that I've made. So I thought... <clears throat> we'll have a look through there because what I'm now going to do is get two separate um, big bags for these to live in while I'm working on them. Um, 
this is kit ephemera what's all cut out um not for this project per se but um this is a lot of nanines bird kits and blue kits so they're all cut out and these are bird embellishments um that i've made so I, i've bagged those up why i think about it i'm just gonna grab two bags I need a couple more folders really for when I'm working on things so these are a bit too too big but you know they can live in there and then um I will get a clip clip them up um and have them somewhere near my desk that I can reach out and everything will be in that bag um so they can go down there for a minute so let's have a look um i have separated because i have been doing some dark blue uh bird things uh so i've kind of i need a bag really to put put these in because they keep getting um mixed in with the others so i think next year because i don't think i'm going to get time to fit it in this year um, I'm going to do a dark blue one. These are these are beautiful. These are these are Prima. Um, what does that say? Is it Georgia Blues? It's like papers. Beautiful. I didn't have the pad. Bought these off eBay. Uh, someone was de-stashing. I mean, that's that's quite light blue, isn't it? I've only got one. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh. absolutely stunning. Yeah, beautiful. So, I think I'm going to have those two. Oh. Uh, for these right so again i'm going to just jump up in another bag because you know if i don't do things when i say i'm doing it i don't do it <laughs> um, so i have learned that yeah that's the way i have to do things because otherwise i don't do it right i had actually got a little bag but then i think that would these would have been too little so I'm going to pop those in there and it just saves them from getting mixed up, getting bashed. Come on. So they can live in there. Um, I'm going to keep that there just in case I come across any more. Let me stand it up so we're not... Um... Higher this camera. Okay. Right. I can take these out of shot. So we've got one of those. That's. I don't think this is that's going to be right colour for this project. So they were some expanding. Um, booklet things i think these are going to be too too grungy for it but it is going to be brown and blue so i'll just keep the cards together these are journal cards that's a pocket that's a tag that's a journal card journal card oh just not long made these on the beautiful um that is supposed to be a bit of a kind of belly band but i'm thinking i'll probably use this on top of something else what's this oh that's that pocket what's all the way in there and then there's a pocket there like that they're belly bands i think i'd like to use use those in it so I'm going to put those there because I really, I really like them. And I definitely want 
use one of these. Um, I did this in one of the Tina's mass makes. And they're not going to take up a great deal of, of room, are they? So I'm going to have that one. And I'm going to have that one. Okay. So that's a, a notebook. Keep that there. What are these? These little pockets. Oh, look at these little pockets. I made these ages ago. These are using uh, Lorna's Digitals. And <coughs> I've printed them out. Oh, are they Lorna's? Yes, they are Lorna's. Um, and I've printed them out smaller. Oh, they did it. And I made them into little pockets. <laughs> Oh, so cute. Right, put that there. That's a little envelope. It's pretty. Well, that's one of those uh, stamp things that I did with the Roxy Challenge. I feel like that would be better in an ephemera folder. What's this? Oh, that's nice. That I think that gets sewn in. So you've got part on one side and part on the other. Might use them if I've got to. I know I don't have to match them, but honestly, it's it's just the way that my brain works. And yeah, if it works, why confuse it? So that's another notebook. These are pockets. I think they'd go very nice in it. A lot well the papers are very brown so I do want to not have too much brown um but I don't want too much blue either so I think there needs to be be that balance are oh, there little to put your cards in so I need a, a pile of uh, they go either side now, if I've got two of those, I might put those in. Where was that other thing? Oh, there. Let's just put those there. This is a. Uh, I think I just did this with my, with my trash. Again, I think that is something I'd more likely use in a file folder. That's another one of those corner pockets. What's this? Oh, that's another one. Oh, yes. So, I'm going to put those in. So, no, no preference. So, that's another... Oh, and I've got another one of those. Yes, I'm going to put those in. So, those two are going to go... One will go one side of a page and the other will be the other side. So, that's probably enough of those kinds of things so yeah <clears throat> beautiful pocket um i don't want anything else flippy outy oh now i've got these which would be probably lovely for front um inside cover so we'll have those i've got loads of these um pockets that I made on um, the challenge. I'm just going to keep them there just to see if any more turn turn up. These are clipping things <clears throat> which I don't think I'm going to use in in this. So that's a no. We don't need any more envelopes. That was deemed wrong colour. So I've got these beautiful pockets. We've got another belly band. I don't want another belly band. Now with these, um, I think I've got two of these. I've got another pocket one here. I think I would prefer to use that one. Okay. These might not all go, go in, obviously. But it, it'll just give me... Uh, do I need less ephemera? Do I need more ephemera? Do we need more pages, less pages? So these are just tags. That's pocket, 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 pockets. Oh, that's them. I'm definitely going to use 
uh, some of those but I'll go through the pockets once I've cleared some of this off so have I got <coughs> a notebook in there I haven't have I so I think I'm going to put those in for some notebooks don't think I've they're the only notebooks I've got apart from that one that's a pocket that's a pocket pocket pockets they're all pockets <laughs> pockets and tag that's just a random tag that can actually <coughs> go in that uh, bag of digitals oh look at this that's a pocket tag I think that's a fold out piece, is it? Oh no, it's one of those um, fingers. I'm coming and are in about this for back cover, so I'm going to keep those out. Their pockets, their. Uh, I don't need them. So we've got a bottom pocket, we've got a tag. I've got a flip up thing which I don't want particularly flip up things. Another pocket. That's, that's a flip oh that's an over the page thing. Oh that's nice. Oh, I might use those. Yeah, put those in. That's another opening thing. So that's those. Right, so what we're left with is journal cards and pockets. So we've already got two pockets, haven't we? Yeah. And we've got a belly band. But we're going to want something underneath. Oh, they're the ones I'm using. Right, what I'm trying to do is find <coughs> some matching, you know, what what will actually fit in here because what I don't want to happen is that I then need to make some some more tags because it kind of defeats the purpose of using things up. <coughs> I think I would want something smaller in there and I would probably use a digital, to be honest, in there. I think I'm going to have to make something special up for those because they, they're thin, aren't they? Yeah, they're going to be too, too small for them. That's not right either. But there might be something in the kit and I can always cut them down a little bit, can't I? So, yeah, <clears throat> we'll find something for those. I think I'm going to need some journal cards because um, I'm going to want quite a big one to go to go under there. Right, shall we look at pockets? Ah. Or shall we look at tags? <laughs> journal cards so i definitely do want to include one of these in and i would like to include one of these in that could actually go under the belly band yeah so i love one of those um are they all the yeah i felt like i made a lot oh because i did some pockets so if I go for those ones, is there anything that's more blue? That one can go there. Okay, so <coughs> we've looked at those. I could e even just clip those in actually. Or I might make them into a, a flip. Don't have to be. Um, oh, I do want to add one of these. I don't think these are going to want florals, you know. So, yeah, I'm probably going to end up having to make some cards. Oh, I don't want to make any cards. So, I don't want to use any more um, of those in, in this. So, that's a pocket. 
pocket like that. That's another one of those. I don't want to use another. That was those. I think they'd be nice. Yes, I'm liking those, so they can go <coughs> there. That's a biggish kind of pocket. Do I want to corner one in? I don't think so. Yeah, I wish I had two, two of those. I really like them. But <clears throat> that's very similar kind of concept, isn't it? So I might, or I could go for for those. So I bet you everything's on the on the left. Yeah, I could probably go for those. I think that's a good mix of browns and, and then with this being brown and blue I think that brings it brings it together. So that's that. I think that's gonna be plenty because I'm gonna need, you know, tags to, to fit these things. So that's that. That's quite a big chunk, isn't it, of of ephemera. Right, that's the blue stuff. So let's bring back one of the journals and kind of have a look. So front page cover, I said that would be nice. I'm wondering if... cover something like that so I'll go with that I don't know if I would want anything on that I think I might decoupage over that just have it as a as a pretty thing that's gonna so I don't want anything on that I would probably just put some you know washi tape down maybe down down there so i'm going to keep that as a writing spot i mean i could put a pocket there but then i don't think i'd want to see anything through through there to be honest so if i have that as a writing spot i think i might end up having to have some more pages you know so that could Mm, that's an idea, isn't it? I should probably have to cover that with something to make it more more sturdy. That looks nice on there. Them. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, because it's on music as well. I didn't didn't do that by purpose. So if that was sewed in, where would you sew it in? Would you sew it in or would you glue it on 
Well, I think you'd glue it on a page. Right, okay. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have that at, at the front. Has the other one got music on it? No. I did end up putting them in, but I'd put one in each. I don't think I'll need them. That's book page. So let me have a look at this one. So I think that one matches. I've got three. Goodness gracious me. Oh, that's nice. And then I think that one matches that one. <clears throat> okay, so that's that bit. That's going to be right. And remember, this is going to be smaller, so it's going to be around there. Maybe I'll have that about there. So I don't think I could have that on there but then it would be hard to to write wouldn't it but I could have it on that side which would be perfect to write on so yeah I do like that maybe I should be clipping things in no I don't want to clip things in this is actually just to see how thick it would be and have I got enough stuff that's that's what it's about they might not necessarily stay where they are so this i think i'm probably going to have like a vellum pocket or something um so something will go in and out i mean i could stick it down but i did want to keep because i've not got that many pieces in i did want to keep um it as writing so i'm not putting anything on there that's probably going to be a pocket yeah so writing space and we've got this which I've creased up then we've got this beautiful don't know if I'd put anything on there or not might this where you put something on <laughs> on this side now everything's we've got middle oh gosh stop ripping things bottom middle okay That folds folds out if you hadn't seen me <coughs> um, make it. Then that, see that's that would fit nice under there. So we'll say yeah for that. So writing, writing. But I think I'll probably put some lace down here. Do I want that in the middle? I think so. Am I going to have anything for the other side? Because we're not in the middle yet, are we? Oh yeah, that's fine. Because obviously everything needs chopping. I'm going to have to be careful with uh, that. I will put some washi here and there to, to repair it. I obviously don't want to rip it in the meantime. So that doesn't have to go there. That could go on the other side, couldn't it? So we've got that, which is going to be a pocket. Got that. Or maybe we could just clip that onto there. Yeah. So then I've got that and some lace there. 
I think that would be really nice there, but I think that one belongs in there because I've only got two of them. Um, and I might, you know, put something behind there. Okay. Um yeah, and let's say that. Then we've got that which I'm just gonna keep as a as a pretty. I might, you know, put some clusters, that kind of thing. So then we've got a writing, we've got a pretty. I'm not putting it putting anything on that side because <clears throat> I'm gonna make something in here. Like I say, I've got no idea what at this point. So we've got this one, we've got pretty. So let's say that that goes in there. And we've got a right um, We've got a pocket, that's pretty on there. Lovely picture, a book page, gonna be something there. I'm gonna say these could have lace down the sides and things like that. So I don't know if let's have that on and I'll turn it back round again. Yes, I just didn't want to cover <coughs> that part of it. So I think I'm going to have that on there. Yeah. Oh, and then we are at the end. Okay. That still feels as if, you know, could take take some more I want to put a notebook in I mean that could not really what have we got in the back that could Quite like it that like that, but obviously I ain't fat. So I might have to not have the notebook, which is fine. So pop those back. Remember, I do need tags and stuff in in there, so that's gonna bulk it out. That's got that on. I think I'm gonna pop that on there. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So if I work as if that's what I am putting in and then <clears throat> um we'll see see what happens. I don't know what my next step's gonna be. Um <clears throat> I just kinda wanted to get a feel for it. Um I think it helps me kind of envision it so I'm not going to use that use that that and that and that and that and that so that's that so I will pop those in the other journal so <clears throat> like on the pages what I said oh there's nothing on. We've got all these lovely page tabs, what I did in the Roxy challenge. So I think these are going to be fab. Um, and I've got clusters. So we can definitely decorate some of the, the pages. 
gonna have to be careful where the tabs are though mind you the kit pages are going to be quite quite in so oh i love that might oh i quite fancy that no it's the wrong way isn't it i need the tab going the other way but i really like that but i've done all the tabs oh there's one going that way yeah i think that'd actually be really quite nice I need the top going the other way different time. Huh? Yes, I do like the idea of that. Yeah, I think that will look really cool. I mean, <coughs> let's this is more blue and brown so say I opened it like that and then you could actually <coughs> might be overkill but it is overkill with that one yeah I think that just needs a normal tab on it but yes I'm really liking that so I'm gonna earmark those two I think um for these well, I obviously don't want to keep them on the front cover so I'll just pop it in there please <laughs> please shout out when I say right I'm going to glue this this envelope together so yeah I like that um, but like I say I've got no I don't know what I'm going to cover this in I don't know what I'm covering the cover in. I don't know what I'm covering the inside with um, we could look at options shall we look at options how long have i been going for oh i've probably been going for too long shall i do i'm gonna i'll leave it at that for now um and i'll come back and shall we have a route round some papers and things um because i'm feeling like i'm getting into it now it's surprising isn't it and that's a good thing about having ephemera ready i think if i just got a blank canvas I find it very hard to to be inspired, but now it's like my head's thinking, yeah, this, that, and the other. Um, whereas before it was just some envelopes um, and some pages, but yeah, it starts to to come alive. So I'm gonna sit and do these, um, and then I'll get some paper like out, and we shall have a look. So. I'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> but I'll carry on filming it today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you like this kind of style. I thought um, the last kind of weekend one I did was the botanical um, file folders, which I didn't really do a tutorial on or I didn't, you know, we had no discussions about why I'd picked this, that and, and the other. So I thought for a change... <laughs> um, We'll do the whole the whole thing um and it gives me some company doesn't it why why i'm doing it and if you're starting a new project and and things um or if you want to follow me doing doing this then yeah right i'm going i shall see you tomorrow bye